Derek, let's circle back because it's almost been a year to the day. September 19th, 2019. Do you remember what happened that night? Is that a two-line game? Eight back in coverage for Houston. McMillan launches down the middle for McCluskey, and he plays three! Jalen McCluskey, touchdown! They take the lead with three seconds left! Are you kidding me? If Tulane doesn't throw that 53-yard touchdown pass in the last few seconds of that game, are you a Miami Hurricane today? I think it'd be totally different. At the time when, when they threw the touchdown, I, I had no idea I was going to redshirt, transfer, and uh, any of it. So um, just that one play kind of changed my whole career. Derek King was a preseason top 15 Heisman candidate at Houston in 2019. But that loss at Tulane began a chain of events that tested King in every possible way. Event number one, Houston head coach Dana Holgerson made the stunning request that King redshirt for the remainder of his senior season. You went from being a team captain, starting quarterback, to going to the scout team, to sometimes traveling on the road. What was that like for you? Uh, it was tough, um, just being a competitor. Obviously, you want to go out there and play um, every game you can't possibly play. I see those guys going to war every single weekend, and I'm on the sideline not doing anything. So it, it was pretty hard. What is it like to sort of get parachuted and start over in a new place? I felt like a freshman again. You know, you come in, you kind of wide eyed, you, you don't know how things were really going at the time. Then you, you get in the groove, you get you get used to it, you get back to your normal self. Everything that I did my freshman year in University of Houston, I have to do it all over again here. Just three and a half weeks after his arrival at Miami, Derek received a call from his family in Texas. His 48 year old father, Eric, had suffered a fatal heart attack. How did you cope with that? Obviously, I'm still not completely over it. Um, I probably never will be. Um, I think about it every single day. I lean on my family. Um, I have a, a great family, I'm super, super, super close. My older brother and two other sisters and my mom. Um, we talk every single day, have a group message. Um, so just leaning on those guys and just to help me get through this, this tough time. This is a really special night in Miami. When you think about the quarterback who is about to take over the offense for the Hurricanes, he's already a star in the college game. The bus ride over to the stadium. What was that like for you? It was a surreal feeling. Um, first game without my dad, so that was on my mind heavy. But other than that, it was, it was a pretty good night. Here's King back to throw, and now it opens up for him. He will die for the end zone. What would you have told your dad about that game? He would probably told me a lot of things I need to get better at. <laughs> um, just, just to coach him, he'll congratulate him on a victory, but then he'll go right into, okay, you gotta do this better, you gotta do this better. I was having fun again, first game playing in a while. I wanna be a, a great leader for this team, and I, I wanna just be successful this year.